Okay, we'd like to welcome you to Facebook, um, Fabric Chicks Facebook Live at noon. I'm not really sure where I should look on this camera when I'm videoing myself, but I'm going to just turn it right over to Leilani Purvis, who's here. She um, is from Arizona currently. Sometimes she's from um, Oregon, but right now she's in Arizona. Hey, Mary Lou. Hey, Paula and Fran. Hello. Um, hey, Louise. Okay, I'm going to turn it over to Leilani. All right, Leilani. Take it away. Hi guys, good afternoon from Mesa, Arizona. And I have a fun little project. Um, I made a bunch of these last year and just had a blast and they make great gifts. So it's, it's quite a simple project. I don't know if you can, this is- oh, Super cute, great. I like the three of them on a stump. Three of them on a stump. So it's, it's actually real wood and wood dowels. Uh -huh. And these are just strips of fabric that you sew together into a triangle or a tree shape. And you can embellish them any way. You can, like I just tied some raffia up here. And, uh, or you can get like buttons or things uh -huh. and add them to the trunk. Oh, like super, snowflakes. super cute. Did you get those buttons from us? I don't think, oh. I don't know. I we, might have. Yeah, you might. I don't know. We have some similar. I'll, yeah. have, to, I'll have to put them on Friday's sale. They are just so cute. Um, but if you don't have access to real wood, um, I kind of would ex was experimenting with some um, styrofoam uh -huh. and I spray painted it and I added kind of a glittery surface and then you would be able to poke your holes in with your dowels. Mm -hmm. That And did you get that in the floral section like at Joann's or Walmart? Yeah. 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 You can cut them any size so you can do a square, you can do a circle. Uh -huh. uh, you and can then, make them real small. What did you spray paint it with to get the glitter? It's just the glitter paint, the craft paint. Okay. Or you could actually brush it on. Right. Like I say, this project has a lot of different possibilities. Also, you can make them into little ornaments. Oh, very cute. So you can do with a little cinnamon stick as a stump. So it's all the same process mm -hmm. and you can make them any size. Um, so it's a great project to use up all your Christmas scraps or red and green fabrics or whatnot and embellish them however, however you want. Yeah, because when you're, when you're done with them, I'll go into how to make them, but you know, you may want to plan ahead because, uh, you can, use little ornaments mm -hmm. as the tree topper or attach them to the tree itself. You can wrap it in a ribbon or any kind of yeah. embellishment. So you can kind of do a circle around it or make it like a garland. Uh -huh. You know how they have these little berry things. Yes. Well, and so sometimes you can, you can find cute little tree lights. I know. I thought about that too. You can just, kind of wind it around and hide the little battery <clears throat> somehow. But all it is is uh, you make a, a template. This is like the large size, the medium size, and the small size. Then again, it's your choice. This is your forest, your own personal forest. <laughs> well, and, it, and it's pretty forgiving. Like if you're trying, if, if I make a template of a triangle and it's not exactly like yours, it's still going to look like a Christmas tree. Right. Yeah, a triangle, you know, obviously you don't want it too fat at the bottom. You want it narrow. So I think I've got six or seven inches for the big tree across the bottom. And then you just find the center point and then make your template going up from there. Mm -hmm. Everybody kind of understands that. Um, and it can go as small as the three inches or even two and a half inches. And what I've ended up doing, um, 
we have to move this. Okay, hang, hang on a second. I'm gonna, um, hi Louise, hi Carolyn, hi Ann, and Karen, and Betsy. Oh, there's a lot of them on there. Katrina from Australia, Lynn Fisher, um, welcome. Cool, cool. So if you're just joining us, this is Leilani Purvis from Mesa, Arizona, and she is showing us how to make a dimensional stuffed Christmas tree or forest. Yeah, I'll just show that again real quick. There's this one, and then this one I'm making now with the moose. Is that too cute? That is adorable. So you can fussy cut it. There's just so many options. Exactly, and that's I've kind of gotten into the fussy cutting part because it's it is just so cute. Um, I haven't made these up yet, but I've cut them. So it's got little ice skaters. Oh, adorable! And then you do something with a little metallic or glitter, yes. and it makes it look all snowy. Super cute. So if you're gonna do all three, well. And if you girls have any questions while you're watching, um, just type it into the comments and we'll ask Leilani. So like this is the big one with the ice skaters. And then I made the middle one just kind of frosty looking. Mm -hmm. Then again, with um, all this is, is the reverse of this. So oh. when you cut your big tree, you can cut your middle tree yes right yes so there's very little waste and then this i kind of fussy cut those to the little so mm -hmm. that's the little tree um Car carolyn says you have such cute fabrics well that's what happens when you're a collector of fabrics even when you don't know what you're going to use them for uh, you know when i find something i pick it up i may only pick up a half yard or I may pick up three yards. It really depends on the on the pattern, the color, and if I'm thinking, okay, am I going to make pajama bottoms out of these? If so, I need three yards. If I'm going to do placemats, I'll need maybe yard, yard and a half. So that's how I kind of gauge that. But the the ice skaters, I think I just got a yard of it um, because I knew I was just going to be fussy cutting it. Mm -hmm. So I didn't, didn't need huge amounts. Right. Um, Christy says they'd make um, nice hostess gifts also. They yeah. would be perfect hostess gifts, especially if you whip them up before Thanksgiving. Then they can display them for the whole month of December. Well, that's my plan. I'm, I'm going to give them as gifts to some neighbors at Thanksgiving um, so they can display them all. Also, what you can do is not stuff them and make them into a... Uh, a collage a collage a uh, wall hanging placemat and i thought how fun is it to add a little bear or something yeah thing? i so love I, that idea isn't that cute and then i've added this uh kind of a tool with sparkles so it looks i don't know if you can tell the reflection on there a little oh a little yep you can see a little bit of like sparkly on the background yeah yeah so it looks kind of snowy there we go so that that would make a really cute little placemat table runner and then again that would be a uh, raw edge applique or I guess you could actually turn it, but I just do raw edge applique. Yeah. But that, that's another thing you can do if you have an odd number of scraps, then you can work it into a table runner or something. Mm -hmm. So how I do this, let me see if I can... So, so you're actually living in a retirement community, right? And, right. And you have a huge quilting room that's dedicated just for you guys to use. Exactly. Yeah. But, but right now you're in your house, so it, it's, it's got quite a bit of space there. It is. It's uh, about 
12 or 14 wide, 35 feet long, has a kitchen, bedroom, bathroom. Should I do a quick tour or let later? Oh, we'll do it later so that we can yeah, get, yeah. yep. Um, okay. Fran, so, Fran says she's had small lights that play Christmas music. Now she knows what to use them on. She's only had them for 15 years. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Exactly. Some, <laughs> and you know what? A lot of times we collect perfect little embellishments and trims, and we never know how to display them or what to put them on. This is the perfect opportunity to use them. Fran, right. I, Fran I knew what you meant. 15 years. We all have that collection of things that we, we are saving for the perfect opportunity to use. Right. So these are um, my different strips. Sorry, I'm having to hold my laptop. And what I like to do is vary the size of the strips from one inch to maybe two and a half inches. Uh -huh. So you can tell. And I lay them out the way... So every tree is different. Your strips are not one size for every tree. Right. I, I just end up cutting my fabric. I have uh, like a bag here of strips mm -hmm. that I've cut various sizes. And then it, it depends on if you're going to fussy cut, if you're going to use some reflective or, or metallic, you might not want so much of it. So you kind of plan ahead. And I like to do a color scheme. So more traditional or like this one is more frosty because of the ice skaters. Um, so the then I lay down my pattern. and I position it the way I want to. Mm -hmm. And then I use my ruler. I don't use my, cause that's cardboard. So I set my ruler alongside the edges to cut, to make sure it's nice and straight. Mm -hmm. And remember whatever your front is, you're gonna have to have a back. And if you're fussy cutting, then you, you don't want your ice skaters upside down. Right, oh, true story. <laughs> Pay attention to directions, girls, Pay it, or you'll cry. So if it'll be if like can, Anna's apron where the poppies were all upside down. Yeah, you know, you got to keep that in mind. Yes. Directional with, fabric, girls, you always have to pay attention to. Right. So, in other words, when I was cutting the, this mousse fabric, right, I wanted to fussy cut the mousse. Mm hmm. But I can't have moose upside down. On the back. You know, that would look kind of silly. Oh, look at Anna. She did the same thing. <laughs> See, don't feel bad. We've all done it. And okay. I'll tell you, even though we know better, we still do it. If it there's happens. a mistake to be made, <laughs> yep. I've done it. So, um... So don't be afraid of making mistakes, girls, because it's just a piece of fabric. So in other words, I have this as my front. This is one that I haven't filled. And this is my back. So I don't have any directional. I do have a directional. There's an upside down moose. But that's going to be the back. Well, and you, can, you really can't tell that that's a moose because I guess his important parts are cut off or something. Yeah. Yeah, you really don't notice. It doesn't scream upside down moose. Right. Now that red moose going that way would be. Yes. Yeah. So just keep that in mind. Um, and then where'd it go? I have my little guy. There he is. And I, I have a friend that loves raccoons. And so I decided to fussy oh, cut him. Adorable. That's a cute piece of fabric. So, so that's going to be the little baby tree in mm -hmm. her forest. <laughs> so you girls are going to be looking at fabric different now. You're going to be looking to see what you can fussy cut. So there's, there's just, you can do like really dark with the black and the red. Mm -hmm. And then make sure it goes up against something lighter. 
Perfect. All oh. three should be a little different. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Rosie just got here. Um, she's still in her pajamas because she's been at a webinar all morning. <laughs> Rosie, we wish we were you. I've been at work since, I've been in the shop since six o'clock this morning. Oh, jeez. I know. I just got dressed like an hour ago. <laughs> oh my gosh. Retirement. Retirement is wonderful. Yes. Um, uh, yes, Diana and Rosie, you guys can go back to the beginning and watch it. It's like all of our lives. If you miss it right at noon, you can always, we leave them up forever. You can, and eventually Christy's going to archive them, I think, on YouTube with titles. So you'll be able to like look them up quick. Oh, that'd be perfect. Yeah, perfect. but don't hold your breath because we got a lot of stuff to do. We got a lot of catching up to do. Okay, so to get back to the technique, so you're laying out your strips anywhere from one inch to two and a half inches, or if you're fussy cutting, whatever that is, just remember when you're stuffing it, you're going to need a little space before your fussy cut, just to make sure you get it all in. I did quarter inch seams. Um, for the piecing and putting it all together. So when you, the back of it looks like this. So this is the front, right? So those are your quarter inch seams. And then again, if I can do it wrong, I did. Um, I'm thinking when you're ironing your seams, it would be a lot easier to iron them this way so when you go to stuff it oh yes stuffing goes i just came up with that yesterday oh my gosh girls it was worth the price of watching this video to learn <laughs> that technique for sure it would because then you won't get your um seams lumpy going all which directions well i tell you when you go to stuff these little points and i use like mm -hmm. a chopstick mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. you know whatever your favorite tool is your fingernail but when you go to stuff that little itty bitty piece way up there, so I'm stuffing it, right? Yep. Um, it would be a lot easier if the seams were going that way. <laughs> yes. And I do think a little tip um, for stuff when you're um, sewing the around the triangle, if you put a little bit of stuffing into your seam as you're stitching at the tip, it will keep it up there. When you turn it inside out, it keeps it up there because it likes, it tends to slip back down at the very tip. You, you know, I haven't really stuffed that many things and you guys do dolls. Yeah. And you do all this. Mm -hmm. but if you have your favorite technique, let me know. Yeah. Try that because next time and let me know if it works. It will keep this. So yeah, it will keep the stuffing up there in the point. Exactly. Oh, and... So after you sew your pieces together and you cut out, you cut out your piece, right? So this is just a single piece and you sew it together, right sides together, mm -hmm. right. right sides together. We all know that I've done that wrong also, but after you sew it together, and you're, you have your quarter inch seam, make sure and trim that down. That reduces some bulk, especially in your corners, mm -hmm. like cut it, cut it on a diagonal mm -hmm. on your corners. I don't have one. And a lot of times when you're doing doll making or, or for this instance, the tree, you might want to shorten your stitch length because that will also help to strengthen your seams. Yes, yes. And here's here's just like an all white one. I showed you that earlier. Mm -hmm. A frosty tree. So I would imagine um, just like quilting, if you have a really dark color next to a really light color, then always iron to the dark that mm -hmm. that may show. Yeah. I don't know. Look at wait, just a minute. I have to interrupt you. Look at Nan is stealing our goodies. No, she's stealing the ones but she brought. <laughs> Taking home to my husband. I, you, so, so you brought them and now you're taking them? I left a bunch. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, she's like an God. Indian giver there. She's like a thief. Yeah, a thief. She thinks I'm busy and I'm not paying attention, but I see everything that goes you on here. You know what? 
You've got eyes in the front of your head. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. Okay, sorry, Leilani. Sorry, girls. I just... Hi, Leilani. I, I thought she was taking Hi, my Dad. lunch. Hi, hon. Hey, how's pickleball? I've been playing. Have you? I just got back from there. That's why I'm stealing the pastries. Oh, I know. I tell you, it's tougher than people think, the pickleball. I, yeah. I, I played for two hours, Leilani. I thought I was going to pass out. Oh, my gosh. That's too long. Too long. <laughs> oh, my gosh. My sister's a big pickleball player up in Washington, and they were shut down. Yeah, oh, shoot. I'm, I'm hoping we aren't. Right now, we're us, able to us do too. everything with social distancing. We wear our masks. Uh, the quilting fiber arts room here. During, uh, during play, you wear a mask? Season, no, no. she totally was the kid who got their hand caught in the cookie jar. Yeah. <laughs> Mary, in the pastry jar. Mary Beattie says hi, Nan. Hi, Mary and Mary. Diana says she loves your cornice above your windows. Great place to put your artwork. Oh, good idea. Hey, yeah, Leilani, yeah. just a quick one. Do you have to um, sterilize or uh, uh, clean the balls in between games? You know, uh, so far they haven't required us to do that. We did that last year when we were here when it just broke out because we weren't sure uh -huh. uh, we just brought a bucket of bleach but right now mm, um nice. you know we're wearing masks when we are not playing or sure. social distancing right but while we're playing we right now we don't have to wear masks mm -hmm. in the quilting room we have to wear masks social distance no yeah. classes no meetings well we um, have a spray that we have to clean the balls in between games you know, that's not a bad idea. You know, I, I should probably bring wipes because you are handling the ball with everything right. else. So anyway, whatever. Okay, we're going back. Whatever pick a it ball takes later, to girl. stay open. Take care, <laughs> Leilani. Pick a ball later. We're going to do a Facebook pick a ball page, I guess. I guess. Yes. <laughs> so, I'm bringing this shit to their attention. <laughs> Is she getting into the cookies? Yes, now? yes. I, I've got to send you some of my cranberry bread. Oh, I'm for sure. Oh, so we I'm, love treats. I made banana nut bread yesterday and my first batch of fudge. Well, I, I didn't see you bringing that here to share. Darn tootin', sister. Put your Darn. mask back on. No, I'm eating. Oh, okay. All right, sorry, girls. We get distracted easily. We are okay. not the police yet. So where did we, okay, we made our strips. We sewed them together. Uh, well, we, we cut it, sewed it together. We're starting to stuff it, right? Yes. Boy, did we get off, off course somewhere We did. Way. It's hard to stay on track. Get back. <laughs> so we, we're, we're stuffing, stuffing. And also what I have found, then again, from past, is when make sure you stuff that point, but also make sure you stuff the bottom points um really well because you want a, a nicely formed tree so this one you want to make sure this point is is nicely and that's kind of a fat tree i really stuffed it pretty good and what i'll do is right now it's not you know it's it's not in there securely yet i'll uh hot glue it in my husband by the way he he cuts these and he does um drill the, the hole mm -hmm. yeah with the drill press but you don't have to do different size dowels i just decided to do that and give <laughs> give him more work to do i guess but these are different these size dowels but you can do them all the same size as these are all like quarter inch or something dowels mm -hmm. for your trunks well, or you can use actual branches like uh, I, oh like, i like that mm -hmm. the stems of the pumpkins that we did yes yeah, oh, you, can, you can just attach that to your wood. And Carolyn wants to know, do you leave the whole bottom open? No, um, that's what I was getting to. So I've just stuffed this, right? Yes. Oh, to get back to stuffing. I <laughs> stuff it to a point, and then I put the dowel in, and then you want to stuff evenly around the, do the dowel so your tree isn't, like, lopsided where your dowel's on one side. You want your dowel in the center. So see how it's centered in there? So you stuff it halfway and then stick the dowel in? Yeah, or maybe even just a third. It depends on how long your dowel is. I like to have the dowel um, probably about two-thirds of the way up, just to make sure it's not floppy. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. that, that's pretty stiff. 
So, <laughs> Nan, stop it! Don't, don't. You know what? Just let it go, sister. Okay. So, so did you do the ninety degree angle at the opening that we were taught by Peggy not too long ago? No. Okay, so Nan's going to tell you what to do because Nan's done it and it works perfectly oh. to close your bottom. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I, I just hand stitch. Yes. This. Okay. So yeah. so when you do that and you, you're starting out with your seam, do a 90 degree, yeah, do a 90 degree uh, sew seam. Perpendicular. Perpendicular, 90 yeah. degree, uh, up to the raw edge. And then when you turn it like that and you pull it and make it taut, there's a perfect size seam that you don't have to mess with the iron and worry about getting it even and this and that. So, yeah, see down at the bottom there, you'd have a little issue. But... It's a little bit easier to close it because yeah. they just line up perfectly. Yeah. Peggy, no, thank you. You're the one that taught us. Yeah, Peggy. Well, and would that work? Um, yes. Because you have to go around the dowel, obviously. So you've got to stitch, stitch, uh -huh. and then stitch, but the, stitch. It's going to be right. It's even. Yeah, it's going to be right where you started stitching. So it's not where the dowel is. It's right where you started stitching. Right that, there. Those two fabrics are going to line up perfectly when you go to close it. And they'll go around the dowel really nicely. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, and then I you have C have then you have Susan who wants to know if she can just glue it with the glue gun. Um, I've done that. I've done that. I think that's what I did. Oh, with the glue, she wants to know with the fabric glue. Um, Closing the seam. The stitch. Yeah. I don't. I don't I, see why you couldn't. Hold. It won't hold. It won't hold. Yeah. There's too much pressure. Yeah. So I, I think did, you're right. I did use the glue gun. But it gets messy and goopy. You're, right. You know, you're just going to have to close it. So I try to stitch it to a point where I can do what I need to do, turn it inside out, fill it up, put the dowel in, and then um, then stitch it. So this one. That's a cute idea. And then Judy so says one, she can't get the video on her phone. We have no, oh, she's got no power in Walker. Well, that's what yeah, I, I stitched this mm -hmm. and then I glued around the dowel just to make sure it was closed up. Gotcha. I don't know if you can tell. Yep, we can yeah. see it. Yep, we good can idea. See it. Yeah. So just to make sure that no stuffing's going to come out or. Is that with fabric glue, Leilani, or um, no, uh, that was glue hot glue. stick? Hot glue? Hot glue. Okay. So I don't know if you noticed, but I did fussy cut the top of this one. Oh. And the bottom of this one very cute so on the single trees you know they're quite tall um what's that 12 know. 14 inches aren't those adorable yeah about 14 inches um then you can actually do a couple of fussy cuts or do it all fussy cuts you know just remember don't make your cars upside down on the back <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> or upside down sleigh. Is that or called directional fabric? Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, you do have to think about that. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, I wouldn't have until you brought it up. Yeah. Believe me, I've done it. And Marilyn says she's been using that little quarter inch in for turning at the at the ninety degree angle, and it's been working perfectly. Oh, good! Yay, Peggy! Thank you. Um, just to go over um, some materials just real quick. So if I'm, I did the big one, right? Mm -hmm. And then I did the medium one with a little darker red just to give it an accent. Mm -hmm. And then the little so one. So cute. So you, you kind of, if you're going to do a little forest like that, you don't want them all the same. Yeah, make them different. It'll just all blend in. Um, over here... I want to fussy cut this little guy. Is he too cute? Ah, oh, adorable. <laughs> adorable. So, and then I chose these colors to go with it. Oh, mm -hmm. pretty. Right? Right. So you could make that tree as big or as little as you wanted. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, how fun would it be to have like a big old 24-inch one and yeah. have, have these kind of fussy cut here and there? Cute. I mean, it's just kind of endless. And then uh, 
decorate it with your your little pieces if you uh -huh. want. Oh, perfect. Okay, girls, they're asking for another demo on the 90 degree. So, girls, it's going to take a little bit for, because um, we have to get something, a sample ready. So, what I'll do is I'm going to send Nan. Nan's going to go home and make a sample, oh. and she's going to demo it on Friday. Go, Nan, go. Yeah. Okay, you can do that for Friday. Well, I can draw so, a picture of it. Tune in Friday for our celebration so you can learn how to do that 90 degree angle that Peggy taught us. And demo. Yes. Wow. I, I, I'm going to show another option. Okay. It's like little deer. Oh, right? super cute. And then your selection of fabrics. Nice. All kind of golds and silvers. Oh, Mary um, Beatty says, go home, Nan. <laughs> that one is the grunge. I mean, the grunge would be such a great option for that. Yes. And even for my little bear. Oh, so cute. Yeah. Well, oh, very cute. Oh, that's the grunge with metallic. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my, I, my little template. I'm going to say that my rep never showed me that because you know I would have bought that. The it's girls got to have that little bit of sparkle. Yeah. Grunge with the polka dots. So, Leilani, what did you draw your template on? What kind of material? Cardboard. Her Car cereal box. Really? What, whatever you got around. Well, yeah. I used my, my Christmas tree pattern is so tattered and torn, and I used that brown wrapping paper. You know, but it, it's... Well, it, the, you know, you can use freezer paper if you can buy that by the ton, and it's really inexpensive. You can even remember, get it for free if you bat your eyelashes at the butcher. There you go. Only Beth would know about and that. I know you do that, too. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, if, at, if then again, if you don't have natural wood around you, you can buy these discs at, at the craft shop, mm -hmm. and then whatever you want to do to put your tree on right mm -hmm. another idea I had really quick for the um i know it was mario christy the base mario's flunking big time and he never mailed me the box of goodies mario was too involved looking at you bending over oh sorry did i did i say that out loud i did <laughs> Out loud. Well, she, in she, front of everybody. you know, she had this low cut thing and she's like, Mario, Mario, oh, Mario, Mario. <laughs> I like the name Mario. Right? Yeah, right. well, it's no wonder he Mario. got distracted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, getting back to the bases. Yeah, Come on. yeah, it's hard to have Nan here. She can't keep focused. <laughs> now, I, I had kind of the, the thought that everybody has glass jars oh, yeah. they may even have like a crystal glass or a favorite glass why couldn't you fill that up with um beads or buttons and just put just you put your there. tree in there oh that would be super cute, cute with the idea. buttons yes wouldn't that be cute and then you you know you don't have to worry about gluing or whatever when you're done for the holiday season there you go. Red, green, m and Nan, I'm just going to tell you, Mary Vitti gets yeah. her freezer paper from the butcher also. It's because <laughs> mm -hmm. of her tattoo and blue hair. Oh, She's okay. so sweet. Anybody would give her freezer paper. Exactly. Paper. Uh, Carolyn <laughs> says, go make the, tr the sample, Nan. <laughs> <laughs> am I being dismissed? I, <laughs> I think I am. My goodness. Okay. <laughs> All right. Sorry, Leilani. We're going we're gonna to zip it. So oh. Leilani, in that in that jar, you know, you yes. could put red and green M and M's. Well, that's put... what Diana Hensley just said. <laughs> Fill it with candy. Of would say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, two hours of pickleball. I'm really hungry. Yeah, but then you'd you'd be eating all the M and M's out of there, and then your tree would fall over. <laughs> kind of like our wind last night, yesterday, Lordy. Oh, man. I know my backyard that's... looks like I had an amazing party. My backyard looks like I should have a hangover this morning. Without having one. Yeah. My, yeah. yeah. my daughter in Gardnerville, the firefighter, they had the biggest tree on their property go down. Oh. And I mean, this thing was huge. And it crushed a friend's Airstream trailer. Oh, no. Oh, like, oh ow. 
bummer. Yeah. A lot of calls to insurance companies today. All right, I'm going to head uh, out. Okay. They All were, right, they see you Friday. Surfing. What's that sample? Copy. Okay. They, they were surfing Lake Tahoe yesterday. Really? And Bye, guys. Take away. care. Kick a ball, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else do you need? I think I gave quite a few hints there. Oh, don't forget your cinnamon sticks for your... Yeah, I got to go find them. If you want to do your uh, ornament. Perfect. Um, seal it with plastic wrap, and then while putting decorations away, you'll have a treat. Oh, very smart, Diana. <laughs> okay, you guys are full of ideas. Yeah. Full of but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're making me hungry now, M&M's. Exactly. Okay, so um, do, girls, if you have any other questions, let us know. Hi, Joe. Welcome. I miss you. Um, okay, so... Leilani, do you have any quilts hanging up around your house? I do. Oh, look at how cute that is with the ribbon. Wait, show it again. Isn't that cute? Well, wait a minute. That's just that jar with sparkly ribbon in it. Super cute. It's, I just... So really, the options are limitless. Limitless. Yes. Um, I actually hung a few. You want to take a quick tour? Yeah, let's do a tour. All right, here's just Everybody uh, loves to see what everybody else is doing. That's just a little one I did. I had some fun with uh, some upholstery fabric and lace. Um, can you tell? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to make you real dizzy here. Okay. Hi, Terry. Hi, Barbara. Ah, uh, let's see. Cindy Gygax says, hi, Leilani. This is fun. Oh, good. This is my bed spread. I don't know if everybody's seen that. Nope, I don't think I've ever seen it. That's beautiful. Uh, no, you. I think you quilted that one. Oh, I did? Years ago. Okay, yeah. then maybe I've seen it. All you know, right. you've seen one quilt, you've seen them all. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> my polar bears. Oh, that turned out amazing. Isn't that cool? So did you put that on a stretcher board or is it I just I like... have it matted uh, or finished. Yeah, it's just on the wall. Yeah. So that's and that one. You didn't put a binding on it, so did you pull it to the back? No, it's got a binding. Oh, it does? Oh, yeah. You can't even see it. But it's grunge. Oh gotcha. There's my kitty cat. Christy says that's her favorite. Christy, did you do the polar bear? Oh, yeah, look some at the of cat. You did. That's the kitty. Oh, I keep trying to get rid of the glare, but I think it might be your glare. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, the kitty's okay. eyes turned out fabulous. I am trying. I've got the kitty cat one that I'm doing of Lorraine Turner's, but I'm I'm afraid yeah. to mess up the <clears throat> eyes. I'm gonna that's have to with, do it. That's with uh, yeah, Shanila. Yeah. And then this is uh, my. This was what well, that's we did swan from our retreat. The flamingo we did from the Lake Tahoe retreat. Yeah. Yes. yes. A couple years ago. So I did finish that one off. You're very well, good at staying on track and finishing projects. You know, I, I kind of have to. And this one is the first one you quilted for me. We I attended a class, uh, the Laura Heine. Uh-huh. And that's how basically we met. Gosh, that's so just this, several years. That's several years ago. Mm -hmm. I think 2016. Okay. So. So I had such fun doing this. And this is what got me started doing raw edge applique. Mm-hmm. So. And the Laura Heine patterns are, are a great way to kind of dip your toes into collage and artsy quilts. It is. It is. They're very user-friendly, very creative. Uh, what else do I have here? Oh, my husband makes ukuleles. Oh, he does? Yeah. Oh, He's wow. Nothing. He's like a jack-of-all-trades. Yeah. And I've got my koala. Oh, very cute. 
Oh, I got my koala hanging. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Are you coming tomorrow? And so this is our Arizona room um, that's attached to our trailer. Thank you. Okay, wait, say that again. I was distracted. This is the Arizona room that's attached to our trailer or our park model trailer. So what's an Arizona room exactly? It's just a built on room. Okay. To the park model. So uh, we have our entrance here, entrance uh, through that curtains, my laundry room, pantry. So it's just a, um, a separate room mm -hmm. where the TV is. And that's our entry there, our porch. Don't look at it. <laughs> and bathroom. Well, there you go, girls. There's a tour of what a, a trailer looks like for those retirement communities that have so many extra activity. Like you don't need a huge house because they've got all the extra rooms for you to go play in. Right. They, you know, we have pools and pitball courts and exercise rooms, ballrooms, concert areas. I mean, there's, I think uh, about 3000 spots here. Yeah. Um, so there are a lot of park models, a lot of RVs, things like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you want me to show my uh, harvest? Um, oh, yeah, your cornucopia. Yes. Yeah, yeah. What's the name of the place? Um, it's called Mesa Regal RV Resort in Mesa, Arizona. Mm. Okay, so this is a... a piece that Leilani painted when she was here. So if you go back, I don't know what day we demoed it, but she just freehand painted the back of the canvas and then she created her own pattern for the cornucopia and everything inside of it. Yeah, so it's got, um, I got the idea from a, a platter or plates, you know, that they have out the seasonal ones right now and it had a totally different um, background and so when I went to Beth's and we painted some canvas I thought oh how fun I'm just going to do a plaid and see if I can fit the cornucopia um, so there's the the cornucopias I think about five or six different pieces pieced together with batik and then I have different um, berries and squash and pumpkins and so that's all raw edge applique. And then I finished it off with sari silk as tendrils and um, the uh, stems for the squash and pumpkins. So it was really fun to do. And I do have a, a pattern kind of in the, in the works for this one, if anybody is interested. Perfect. And I think maybe what we might do is offer it as a workshop in the spring. Um, yeah. Because like any, any art quilt like this, there's so many different ways that you can um, put it together that sometimes it's, it's hard to write all the different techniques and all the different ideas into a pattern. So it's great when you can offer the pattern along with a workshop. I agree. I think, it, and it's, it gives you plenty of time to do it, finish it and get it ready for, you know, the fall season. Cause it's not necessarily Thanksgiving. It's, it's a fall. Yeah. Fall yeah. Design. So perfect. Cool. All right, girls, do you have any questions for Leilani? Okay. Well, there, there's a little bit of a time lapse. So, so type in your questions if you have any questions. And then I want to just kind of remind you girls real quick that to join the Quilt Sew Craft Festival um, Facebook page at two. Um, it's brand new, today's the very first day. So we're kind of experimenting. So be prepared to, um, to, to see the original very first one with us as we practice. Um, but I also, I might have some giveaways.
So tune in at two. Okay. All right. All right. Connie says, thank you. Thank you. All right. So we will see you girls at two. Um, and then here is, for those of you who signed on later, here is the finished project of what we demoed. Well, not we, what Leilani demoed. Um, Diana Hensley says, thanks, Leilani, for sharing your great ideas. Good. Good. You guys are welcome. It's, it's such a fun project. Makes great gifts, great decorations. Uses up scraps. Yes. Um, go, girls, for the two o'clock one, go to my, you can go to my site and there is a link on one of the posts from this morning that will send you there, but I'll post it up on, I'll pin it to the top. All right. Karen says, thank you, Leilani. All right. You guys have fun. Let me know. I want to see all your projects now. Well, they'll post them on the Fabric Chick Stitch Along. Yes. Cool. All right. Perfect. Thank you, girls. Thanks, we'll everybody.